Hey guys, here's a little update of the solar panel that I'm building with the broken solar cells. I got the cells from a company called Solar Cells 101 off of eBay. The cells on the left are three by threes. The cells on the right are one and a half by threes. The ones on the right here, I have three individual cells running parallel. Then it goes to another set of three running parallel. But in between it's running series. So you got three in series to three more, in series to three more, in series to three more. The three by threes are all just parallel. Or series, sorry, series. And then I have the both of these hooked in series together. And I can do a different configuration, which gives me less voltage but more amps. I'll take a walk downstairs and see if I can get any type of a reading for you guys, just so you know. Like I said, I ordered the cells off of eBay for a reasonable price. Pretty fast shipping. I was happy with it, so I'm sure you would be too. And down here. That panel is hooked directly through my grid tie right now. It's only actually putting out 7 watts right now. But the sun's kind of going down. Like I said, I can do a couple different configurations with that panel up there. Right now, I think, the way it's run, I got about 30 volts at 1 amp. If I run them parallel to each other out there, I get about 13 and a half volts at almost 3, almost three amps. show you my little grid tie set up here. Right now I have my other solar going through this charge controller. 4.3 amps. I'm going to switch over now and put those to the grid. I'll just switch here. Now it should be feeding the grid all of my panels including that one that I built. Yeah, you can see it climbing up. This is actually a kilowatt meter that I bought. It's not really hooked up the way it should be. I had to actually reverse the way it's hooked to the wall. Plug the opposite end in that's supposed to be. But it seems to work. I wouldn't recommend anybody else doing it. And of course I wouldn't leave home with this plugged in. But it does seem to give me pretty accurate readings. Right now it's plugged into a wall where you would usually plug in an appliance to read how much wattage it uses. Just gave it a little reversal. Alright. Let's see, what else can I show you? I'll try to show you some open voltage of that panel. Just the amps shorted 0 0.79, 0.80. And then I switch it over to give you a volt reading. Sorry about the shaky camera, but the volts are actually 29 volts. If you want to bear with me for a minute, I'll show you the other configuration that I can do. I hope you guys don't get bored here me wandering about but 
Hold on. Back outside here. Here's the panel. I'm just gonna do a little. I'll put you on the windmill for a second out in the background there. I don't know if you can make it out. I'm just gonna switch the wires on this panel to a different configuration. I'm actually gonna hook the cells that are in this panel here in parallel. A minute ago they were hooked in series. So let's see. That. Hopefully you guys are getting some footage of the windmill. It's not that windy right now, but it's actually moving. Alright. I just switched a few wires. Like I said, I got two sets of cells here, the left side and the right side. Now they're actually hooked in parallel. A minute ago they were hooked in series. Bring it down and see what kind of readings we get now. Maybe some of you guys could help me out with which way is the best configuration. Now we have Twelve point three volts. Yeah. One point two five amps. Which is kind of low. The sun must be going behind the tree. I know I can almost get three amps out of this. And, and 13 and a half volts with this configuration. See the sun must be... Or the wind's moving the tree around out there probably and the sun's peeking through. Alright guys. Leave me some comments on what you think the best configuration is. Like the sun's really hitting it now. 2.2. Drop it back down. Let's see. The bolts. I mean, this is enough to charge a 12 volt battery. Bank. But, I can't tie it into my grid tie inverter because that takes 14 volts. Alright, that's that, anyhow, guys. Still pushing 35 watts is all right now. It's about 1:30. About this time, the sun kind of gets behind a few trees in my yard. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.